Ja, the forgotten Apache, a tribal leader among the Kirikayua. Ja, the Apache may be a mystery to many, but his influence and leadership within his tribe are unquestionable. Names like Chato, Chihuahua, Kotz, Crazy Jernimo, Mangus Coloradus, and Nana Victorio are recognizable to many as prominent members of the three known Kirikayua bands. The Beddoes and Chakins are from Don Coez. However, in the fourth band, the Nets, emerges a figure of equal magnitude. Who? The lands of the Beddoes and Chakins extended through the southeastern part of Arizona and southwestern New Mexico, while the Nets inhabited further south in northeastern Sonora and northwestern Chihuahua. All four Kirikayua bands relied on raids to subsist, resolving their needs through cattle raids during the winter. During that time, us authorities pursued the Kirikayua, capturing and confining them to reservations. In these reservations, they lived under limited conditions and were encouraged to adopt agriculture. These communities were also subjected to rigorous censuses, classifications, and photography, meaning they were studied. Conversely, the policy of the 19th century Mexican authorities towards the Apaches was one of extermination. Ja was born in 1825 in the upper part of the Gila River, located in southeastern Arizona or southwestern New Mexico. Described as a roving Apache of reddish-brown complexion with straight hair and a hawk-like nose from his Apache mother and the profession of his Jesuit father. His father, Lacerus, was the chief of one of the bands near Lanes, in Chihuahua. The Nets are Southern Kirikayua referred to themselves as enemy people and were considered the wildest even by the other Kirikayua bands. At the early age of 14, Ja began his training as a warrior. Warrior apprentices were required to participate in four raids, learning the art of survival and self-discipline in rugged and dangerous territories. Veterans assigned him tasks such as horse care, collecting firewood, and preparing food. As a complement to this physical training, young warriors were expected to gain a supernatural power that often revealed itself through a dream or encounter with a wild animal. This power was of great importance to the warriors, as their chief was required to possess it. Ja, in fact, acquired it. Over time, he completed his training and became an outstanding example among the Kirikayua in the art of raiding and ambush. This intensive training, combined with his supernatural power, allowed him to effectively lead his band and defend their lands against external threats. Despite the hardships and persecution, Ja maintained his resistance and determination, guiding his people through times of uncertainty and turmoil. His leadership, though less known compared to other Apache leaders, was equally influential and vital for the survival of his band. In conclusion, although Ja may be a lesser-known character in Apache history, his leadership and resilience make him an important figure. His story reminds us that heroism and resistance can be found even in the forgotten pages of history, and that every story deserves to be told and remembered.